In this video, we're going to walk through the MyDocs Online desktop app. If you don't yet have a copy, you can get it at the MyDocs website. So as you can see here, I'm logged into my account. I have a set of folders and some action buttons up at the top. The upload button, fairly intuitive. Most of this is going to be fairly intuitive. Uploading, you can browse. You can click that button and browse for files and folders that you want to upload, or you can simply drag and drop them. So let's say I want to upload this documents folder. Uh, the folder and those six files. I'll just drag it into the account, into the folder where I want it to be, and it will create the folder and add the files, and there we are. There's the folder and the six files. Downloading, again, fairly intuitive. You select the folder or files that you want to download, click the download button, and then browse to your preferred download location, and the files will be downloaded there. Viewing files is, is sort of interesting. It's, it's a way of opening a file that you have no intention of making changes to. So let's say I want to open this file right here, Prospects, it's a spreadsheet. And I'm not going to be making changes, I just want to take a look at it. So there it is, there's the file. I can look at it and, and see what activity my salespeople have done throughout the day. And in this case, it's uh, none. So I just close it, no changes have been made. Lock and open is a different scenario altogether. With lock and open, someone can open a file, apply a lock to it. So they're the only ones in the file making changes. And, and that's important because you don't want to have two people in a file at the same time making changes. So let's say I'm a salesperson and I want to update this sales spreadsheet. I would do, I would highlight that and then click lock and open. That opens the same spreadsheet, but as you'll see here, it's applied a lock to it. So if anyone else tried to access it, they would see that it had been locked. So I'm a salesperson and let's say I saw John Smith today on 9-26-15. Did I see him? Yes. Did I leave the material? Yes. I'm going to follow up on 9-30-15 and the next step is a follow-up call. So I want to save this back into the MyDocs Online account. So I, clip, I simply save it using the computer save function, then close the file and then I highlight it here and click Save and Unlock. First, notice this date and time, the date and time stamp here. It's uh, 620. I record these videos very early in the morning. So it's 620 and it shows as locked. So I'm going to click Save and Unlock. You notice down here there's some activity and there the date and time stamp changes to 656 a.m. So that's it. Uh, that's lock and open. Uh, the file was locked, updated, resaved, and then the lock was removed. New folder, again, fairly intuitive. Uh, you need to be inside the folder in which you want to create a new folder. Let's say I want to create a new folder in this sales folder, and I want it to be marketing materials. So I just click new folder. Enter the marketing materials, and there it is. If I wanted to delete something, this is a delete button. It's fairly obvious, but it will delete all of the files and the folders inside a folder. So if I deleted this uh, accounting folder, which has one, two, three, four, five folders and two files, it's going to delete everything. So if I wanted to do that, I just highlight it and click delete. Now, if you find you've accidentally deleted something, it is possible to recover files for up to 48 hours, and you can find a separate video on that in the video tutorial section. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is the share feature. So let's say I want to share this file with, a, with someone who's not in the RMIDOX online account. They don't have a login ID and password. So I just select the file name, and then I click Share. I'll drag this over here so you can see it. There's the file name. There are two ways of doing it. You can send the file yourself using a link you can email. That's, that's my preferred method of doing it because it's less likely to get caught up in a spam filter. Or you can have my docs send the email. Again, I like to send the email myself. So I'm going to do that. 
I'm going to require a password as well. And that password here is one, two, three, four, five, six. I would not advise using that. And a comment. Here's the April spreadsheet. Then it creates a link and automatically copies that link into my clipboard. So all I have to do then is to paste that into an email message and send it. Now, here's an example of what the person who received this link would see. I'm just going to paste that link. I'm going to try and paste that link. Here we go. Into my browser window. And first thing they see is the password. Enter the password. Of course, you need to email them the password when you're emailing them the link. And there's the file. So that's what they see. So that's a quick walkthrough of the MyDocs Online desktop app. There are some other videos that go into more detail about some of these features, so you can check those out. But this is a quick overview. Thanks for watching.